Today we're going to draw the red back spider, one of the coolest of the spiders, a real celebrity among spiders. Now there's no Aboriginal artwork depicting the red back spider and because of that we believe that it was probably brought from America in ships long ago but it has become a part of Australian culture, the good old redback spider. In fact, a famous song called There's a Redback on This Toilet Seat was made over this little animal. But as far as I know, although it's made some people dreadfully ill, I don't know of it actually killing anybody. Okay, I'm starting off with just a mechanical pencil. It's probably um, HB. I've got like a little fine Sharpie pens and a nice thick black texture thick marker pen and I'm going to draw one of the most popular spiders in Australia is the red back spider in America almost the same species some people argue that it is um, it's the black widow but in Australia it's very popular in tattoos uh, it's popular as art on motorcycles, on helmets, all sorts of things. It's just a very popular animal. And this is a beginning's guide on how to do this and we're starting off with almost a circle. It's a little bit longer that way, but it's almost a circle. And you can sort of practice doing this till you get it right. Down here, a circle well under half its size. We put a couple of little fangs there, which is like a little... Well, I was going to say a letter M, but it sort of curves in a little bit. And then some little palps. So the palps here are not real big, partly because she's female, and also partly because the venom's so strong, she doesn't need big palps. Now, these legs... We're going to do what we do here. So we do that one leg here, and we're going to do the same over here. Fairly spindly, thin legs. It's almost like a little telescopic legs by the looks of it, and then really, really fine. You can see that really fine there. Now the front legs are probably the biggest. The hind legs are probably next biggest, and this is going under here, it's probably going under the abdomen and out here a little bit. Now, legs to the side, I'm sort of going from the longest legs to the shortest legs. So the next longest legs, almost the same size as these, would be the second pair after the first pair. So here we go. See, this here is nowhere near as long as that. Again, nowhere near as long. Now, the shortest pair of legs he's got is sort of like, you know, the third ones from the front. And these are even shorter than that. So they're shorter than both that one and that one. So we're going to make this rectangle coming out here much shorter. Now we're going to do an irregular pattern on the back here, like that. I'm going to do a little curve like that, almost like a jelly bean shape. Make that jelly bean shape a bit smaller there. Jelly bean shape, jelly bean shape. That's where the light's going to hit it. Now, thick texture. Mark a pen, go around here first. I'm going to leave the stripe and leave the white shiny bit obviously. And I mark out one. Now I get a finer marker pen, so 
even though it has got an extreme toxin, um, it's not an overly dangerous spider. It tends to keep to itself. Yeah. Things like that. I'm sort of shaded in a bit there, so it's just a little tiny white jelly bean shape there. And those little palps around there like that. And here I'm doing some dots. And so I'm dotting around the edge of that jelly bean shape, but leaving a bit in the middle there alone so it looks a little bit like a shiny bit. Let's give it a little bit of red here. Get a good quality colouring in pencil and it looks pretty good. Now, it's just sitting there, but you want it to, you see under my hand is a shadow. You want something like that. So let's let's go for that. Let's, uh, we got, well the light's going to come this way. Because, uh, so, if it's hitting here, There'd be a shadow coming from there to there. Now we do that grey. Same here. See, I'm not doing it like that. I'm sort of doing it so it makes the legs look like they're coming up off the page a little bit. little trick at the end of this too. So the light's here, there's a shadow casting here, and a bit of pencil. This is where it gets a bit tricky this side. Um, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to make it a bit closer to that one. Yeah, because there's a bit of shadow there, a pap there, here's. Now here's where it gets tricky because the light's coming here and the shadow will probably be actually under it. So we're going to do that. We're going to make it go like that. See that? Same here, we're not really going to see it much there. We're going to see it more there. Already that's giving you a bit of a feeling that it's sitting on the page. Now, what we're going to do now is here where the foot's actually touching, we're just going to make it a bit darker. See that? Everywhere where the foot actually touches, make it a little bit darker going into the light. There we go. get much of a chance here and also where it comes really close to the body again I'll make it a little bit darker there so I'm putting my pencil there and I'm just flicking it up so when it gets about here it's come off the page colour this abdomen there well colour the abdomen shadow rather in a little bit more Because what's happening here, come back here, is the light sneaking under here a little bit, making the shadow a bit weaker here, but where it's in con where the foot's in contact, the shadow's a bit more intense. So I hope you guys have enjoyed our little spider drawing tutorials. I've done a few now. But I guess I like to draw spiders. They are pretty cool. And that was our drawing of the redback spider. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe. Share it around. We'll see you next time.